happy Monday morning. I don't even know what today's date is. Is today the 8th of November? Uh, it was a weekend. <laughs> um, I am now, I'm just trying to sort of catch up from Saturday, Sunday, especially Sunday because I didn't really get much accomplished yesterday. Brad was able to get a lot of stuff done around the house, which I'll show you. Um, but Sunday morning, early, early morning, like four o'clock, I woke up with vertigo. I never had vertigo ever before in my entire life. I do not wish it upon anybody. Um, the room was spinning literally like, like insane, insanely, like amount of spinning around the room. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It was basically like a hurricane in the room, spinning and spinning and spinning. Um, somehow I was able to get myself out of the bed without waking Brad up and get to our bathroom because I then unfortunately threw up. Um, sat on the bathroom floor for 15 minutes. Again, I didn't want to wake Brad up, so I pushed myself up off the floor, which y'all know with back issues, that was pretty hard to do. I sort of braced myself against the wall, pushed myself up, tried to lay back down. When I lay back down, it got intensely worse. And at that point, I was like, babe, babe, you gotta help me. Like, I can't see anything. Like, literally, like, my vision was gone. And when he came over to the other side of the bed, I had my hands reaching out for him, my arms reaching out for him, and I literally could not see where Brad was. It was that bad. So I sat out here in the living room because he Googled it and said that it's good to sit up and to not lie back down until like it's gone. So he helped me out to the living room, sat out here for a good 45 minutes and I felt like it was gone and I was tired. So I went back to bed around like five, ish 5 15 ish woke up still feeling nauseous and didn't have vertigo again but let me tell you like that was so awful um i hate getting nauseous like it's one of my things that i just i hate that feeling and the only time i would ever appreciate being nauseous and i would grin and bear it is if the lord ever granted us with our miracle baby miracle pregnancy that's the only time I would grin and bear it, but we know I'm not pregnant right now because we haven't done IVF in two years. So anyways, but let me show you what Brad did get done this weekend. The house is still a mess, still not decorated. I wanted to start decorating this weekend and it just didn't happen, it just did not happen. Um, I feel like Friday just with the whole bathroom issue, which I told you guys about in the last vlog, things just got chaotic around here but we did get our patio furniture together and Brad got the rug down in the great room so let me show you the patio furniture first but I will say that we are not keeping it where it's at and I'll explain once I show it to you guys so let's go out here first okay so it is together I think I talked about the fiasco that we had with this initially but the pillows came scrunched inside the frames so i have to like get a steamer and steam them because they look pretty awful at least some of them do anyways uh got the section all together it's still actually somewhat defective we're gonna have to screw in two holes down here because the holes do not line up or there's no holes whatsoever for this piece so we still really love it it was a good deal so we're gonna grin and bear it i guess i should close this door So yeah, we're, we're gonna keep it because it was an amazing deal and it is what it is. We're just gonna have to eventually make those holes to work over here on this side. We also put the table together. Well, Brad did, not me. Um, what's really cool is you can make that two different heights. So this is like the eating height and then it goes, you basically lift it up and turn it and then it goes down to like a coffee table height, which is nice. So we thought that this height is actually nice all the time so we might just keep it that way but anyways we have it pushed up against this wall over here but the plan is to 
eventually move the grill over to that side. And then because you sort of lose, I'll sort of, sh I'll show you instead of just telling you. Brad put the Mickey rug down. So sitting here, you sort of lose the view of the water, but the more that you go this way, you see it better. So our thought is to move the grill to the other side, push the sectional all the way over, but maybe leave about a foot on this side so that you can still access the bathroom and basically push it all the way up to the screen. So we measured it. It's basically gonna come right to the end of where the door is, just a little bit shy of the door to the right. And that will be fine. So basically then we'll have like a pathway behind the sectional here, and then you just have to walk around it that way to sit down, which is fine. It's not the biggest lanai whatsoever, but for now, until we put the pool in and extend this out, it will have to do. So that's the plan. But the reason why we're not doing that right now is because this is the bathroom that had the fiasco on Friday with the roof leaking and the vent leaking. And because we have the lanai access here and the door here, we're gonna make the construction guys come through here to do the bathroom so they don't have to go through the house. So we're sort of leaving this space open here for right now because of that. So hopefully that will give them enough room to get in through that door to access here because they're going to have to rip out all of that drywall and stuff in there. So I hope you guys understand why we want to move the sectional down this way because we want to be able to see our birds. And last night, oh my goodness, but there were so many birds lined up here last night at sunset and it was just so beautiful. There had to have been like 30 maybe and there was a couple different species it was so beautiful like loved it so much um and there was a bunch this morning but now they've sort of moved to the other side since this side's a little bit more shady let me go inside and show you the rug that we bought for in the living room it needs to be adjusted slightly but for right now we're just going to leave it because there's a lot more to do in the house besides just adjusting the rug a little bit but i definitely want to get it adjusted because I think by moving it a little bit further towards the front of the house will look a little bit better. So let me get over here so I can give you guys a better view. Don't mind the mess. It's still crazy, crazy messy in here. There is the rug. I think it's so pretty. It's like a light cream beigey color mixture in the background. And then the pattern is like a mixture of a couple different blues as well as grays and I think it just complements the sectional really nice because the sectionals are really dark I think this just sort of brightens up the room especially with the color flooring that we picked so here at the end you can sort of see it's like right on the edge where the section of the sectional is the shades part down here there's a few extra inches so I want to eventually move this maybe like three inches so that way there's like three inches off that direction, if that makes sense. So for now, it's fine. And the rug pad that we bought, oh my goodness, it's so cushy. Feels so nice on the feet. So yeah, definitely love it, love it, love it. Then I'll pick you guys back up when I'm out and about. I have to run to Target and I have to run to the bank a couple other places. The only thing I got done this Saturday was the pantry, which y'all saw. Um, that's all I got done. I was going to do a little bit more Saturday night, but I just need time to rest. I couldn't overdo it. Um, and then Sunday I woke up with vertigo and that was just a fiasco. So anywho, going to put you guys down, do this. I have like maybe a half hour, half hour or so more to do to get it rendered and then uploaded to the internet and then I can head out on my errands. It's only about 10 o'clock, so it's still early. Um, yeah, I feel like there was something else I was gonna tell you guys about, but I can't remember, I don't know.
anyways i'll see you guys in a little bit it's much later than i expected <laughs> oh my gosh um i had like three phone calls to take care of while i was trying to finish this up in like a half hour i'm just now getting it uploaded um to the internet mm. so long story short about the bathroom we had the builder call us to come out and basically look up in the vent area to see if they can see any mold or anything because they said if there's no mold in the area where it was leaking they're not going to replace the sheetrock and the insulation even though brad and i both feel very strongly that they should because it's a brand new house and the vent has been like installed you can see my cheeks are red because i'm frustrated um the vent has been installed like probably end of july beginning of august and we didn't move in until the end of october so like who's to say during all the rain that we had in september and august that it didn't happen and then dried back up again and from what they said they're like well if there would have been mold from before that it would have showed by now but i don't know i don't feel really comfortable about it because one it's a brand new house and they should just do it anyways just in case and i don't know i guess maybe i'm being a bit harsh and so is brad but we both were like this is a brand new house. They should fix it just to be sure. You know, even if they don't see anything, I just would feel comfortable and you would think the builder would do the right thing and replace just that small section. I mean, it's literally just a small section. It's where that toilet is. Like, I, I, it's not that much. Like, let me show you. So you can't really see anymore, but like, around the vent it's like still damaged somewhat like it's hard to tell on camera but in person you can see it and then down the wall here there's like a little spot that one of the sheet rot na sheet rock nails is like popping through because of the water and there's some other spots in the corner but yeah so like it's basically just this section here like this little can you guys see it better now just this little like corner section so the water only really went and you can sort of still see a spot right there going out where that wall connects like that is still somewhat damaged i guess you could say from the water so it's basically just from the door back in the section i mean it would take probably what two or three pieces of sheetrock to redo it like it's not that much of a job i just feel like to be more reassured that there's no damage behind the walls that i don't know why they wouldn't do it but maybe we're being ridiculous about it but like i don't feel like we are it's a brand new house it shouldn't have done that and they should make it right but i don't know like it's hard to even see on camera but on that back wall like in person here, I can still see where the water came down and along the other spots, but like the lighting, like there's not good lighting under here. So you can't really see it too well on camera. Uh, so he's coming today at four o'clock. So fingers crossed that there's no mold behind there, but fingers crossed we can convince them to come in here and redo it. And to be honest, like I can smell a difference in here too. Like it smells sort of musty in here compared to the rest of the house so like i know that there's issues and i can even see more of a shadow along that spot where that nail head is coming out <sighs> yeah they just need to redo it like that's just not right like and i can see more on this side too sorry it's not coming up on camera but like 100 percent, i can see it in person but i can definitely smell like there's a musty odor right in this section and you can't tell me that stuff's not wet behind there like i don't know oh goodness wish me luck later today um i really need to get out to the bank and go to target uh i hope i have like i hope i don't have to deal with like all the lunch rush hour stuff you know because 
I want to be able to get back here and I wanted to start tackling like the rest of the two guest rooms back here behind me. I haven't really done much since um, Halloween, which is actually the vlog that's going up tonight in those two rooms. Um, I haven't had a chance to touch anything else in there. I wanted to get all of this cleared away here by the front of the house, entrance to the door. Yeah, there's just so much to do. Like I wanted to get that stuff put away, but I was gonna put all of this stuff in the Disney guest room where the bed is so that I can have this easily accessible just in there, just so it's out of the way in here in the living room and like the dining room area. So, but I need to get that room cleaned up first. So I don't know if that's gonna happen today, but we shall see. <sighs> I'm back home. I totally, oh my gosh, like literally what is up with my hair? It's falling out of its bun. I really don't care. Um, I left you guys at home, forgot to bring the camera with. And I was on the phone so much this morning that when I got into Target, my battery was almost dying. So it's not like I could have even filmed on um, my phone. But honestly, I just went to Target quick to get one more of those um, bins for in here. But I think, yeah, I'm glad I got, I think the color is a little bit lighter. I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, so I got two because I think, whoa, that was bright. I got two of those little skinny bins because I think the color is off a little bit. Let me go out here and get them and see if I'm correct. Cause I got two thinking if it is the wrong color. Um, oh, I left the, I left the garage light on. Um, yeah, they are a different color. So I'm glad I got two. The only other thing I did pick up, this is a impromptu garage haul. I picked up a lunch bag for Brad. Let me go inside and I'll show you guys. And then Brad did need a new, lunch bag for work now that he can't come home for work because for work for his breaks because he's a little bit further away now from his job so his Steelers bag that he's had for like years and years finally seen the light of day like it you know it's seen better days that's for sure um so we got rid of that and I just invested in this one for him I think it was like 15 bucks or something at Target or maybe it was 20, I could be wrong, but he usually takes like a couple drinks and like a big container. So he definitely needed like a bigger one. So I picked that up. That was the only other thing I got at Target. Person from Highland Homes was just here. They went up in the attic and they said they didn't see any mold. I stopped at Chick-fil-A and got a lemonade. So they're not going to do anything. Um, sorry, I sat down. Even though it looks like it's still somewhat wet and stuff. So he said like maybe they would come back out to redo like the texturing and repaint, but it sounds like they're not going to replace the drywall. So I don't know, I don't know. That doesn't make me happy because it still feels damp on the drywall and they didn't even offer to bring out like fans this weekend or even today to continue drying it out. I'm not sure when we're supposed to have more rain to make sure that the seal is actually sealed, um, even though it seemed to be fine after the fact when that guy came. Yeah, it looks like it's supposed to not rain at all this week and there's no forecast in, for next week either. So, <sighs> I don't know um yeah so now that he came a little early um i guess i'm gonna take some medicine and just sit down for a little bit and watch tv um have a little snack because i didn't really eat a lunch um i should have gotten more a chick-fil-a than just a lemonade but that's all i got i had some fruit before i left but I'm hungry and it's only 3.30. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna try to 
tackle some of that craft room and the other guest room in the front of the house. And if I start to tackle that, I'll bring you guys with for an update to see what the progress before and after looks like and we'll go from there. Okay, it's time to tackle this room. This room has become a dumping ground. I need to unbox all those boxes behind here, clean up the blanket situation and figure out stuff. So before and hopefully soon I'll show you the after. And it's done. Well, not done, but all the boxes are unboxed. Some of this stuff is going to end up going in the craft room. Well, all of this for sure is. Some of this is, some of it's not. I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, the stuff on the bed I still need to sort through, but I'm going to take a break for now. And I put some stuff over here that was unboxed. So, yeah. It's coming along coming along next week we're finally getting our blinds put up so don't mind the fancy trash bag window covering uh yeah our blinds are sitting there on the floor 